Hello and welcome to Tree Tuesday, an ongoing series with the Allegheny County Parks and me, naturalist Katie, where we discover and talk about a different tree that you can find in our Allegheny County Parks every week. So if you're ready to go along on this journey, come on with us. So our first tree is our state tree, the Eastern Hemlock, Suga canadensis. So the Eastern Hemlock is a gorgeous evergreen that can be identified with its short bluish green needles, as well as its adorable teeny tiny little cones. So these trees love to grow along stream banks, on steep hillsides and in cool valleys. And the National Wildlife Federation actually stated that over 120 different types of animals rely on this tree tree for a food or a habitat source, especially for our native brook trout, which rely on the shading that this tree provides to create cool fisheries. So the eastern hemlock tree is amazing for many reasons, and it's actually quite integral to our history of the United States. So Pennsylvania, of course, was named after its trees, and hemlock was one of the very important ones because its bark could be used to tan leather as it contains tannins, and its lumber could be used for things like building log cabins and structures. So this meant as we are expanding into the Western territories of the United States, we are cutting down more and more trees in Pennsylvania. So even though Eastern hemlock trees can live to be up to 800 years old, unfortunately we don't have many old growth stands here in Pennsylvania because most of our trees were gone by the late 1800, except for a special area in Allegheny National Forest known as Hearts Content. Now, Hearts Content was actually owned by a lumber company, and they saw the value in these beautiful old trees, and they thought that they needed to be saved. So they deeded 22 acres to the Forest Service. Eventually, the Forest Service expanded this area and turned it into what is today known as Hearts Content, where you can go to see hemlock trees over 400 years old. But unfortunately, there's something else attacking our hemlock trees, and that is the hemlock woolly adelgid. So the hemlock woolly adelgid is an invasive insect that sucks the starch from the hemlock's needles. And this means that eventually it causes needle death and death of the entire tree. So there are two different ways that you can treat hemlock woolly adelgid, through chemical or biological defenses. Biological includes releasing the natural predator of the hemlock woolly adelgid onto the tree to help eat them and kill them. And chemical includes injecting the hemlock tree with an insecticide. This is why sometimes you might see plugs at the base of a hemlock tree. So if you wanna check if your hemlock has hemlock woolly adelgid, you can look on the underside of the needles to see if there is what looks like cotton fluff. Those are the ovisacs of the hemlock woolly adelgid. Now, scientists are working really hard to save this tree, and let's hope they do, because they are really important and integral for the cultural and historical significance of our state. Thank you so much for joining us for this first installment of Tree Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed and that you learned a little something. If you want us to cover a tree in the future, comment it down below. And until then, we will see you next time.